Um, the, housing, the Metropolitan Housing Observatory is a, an instrument um, that um, in which is um, is trying to to um, to support um, the different um, trends uh, and needs that have designing the housing policies. We have different um, entities in the in the Metropolitan Observatory. There is the Barcelona City Council. The regional one, that's the Generalitat de Catalunya, the Metropolitan Government, the Area Metropolitana de Barcelona, and Diputació de Barcelona. It's like a regional, a little bit smaller, you know. And also, um, and one other objective of the observatory is to make an analysis of the housing market and other statistical information and we want to do it um, with um, different reports that are um, about um, the basic the data that is available, available in, the, in all the different administrations and of housing, and, but also um, to make reports about specific thematics that are the, the, the problematics that we have detected to uh, design the new policies of in, related to the housing. This is the another goal is to guarantee the neutrality and the of objectivity of the of the observatory. This is a map that is the map of all the different entities that work with data and that make data scientists and that um, can bring us different data from uh, housing. And we want to centralize all this data and um, try to hom homogenize um, it. Another uh, goal of the of the observatory is a, one, a very important one, that is uh, make information available to the public because we want citizens to access to the information and do it uh, with easy, easily. You, um, we want to be uh, very communicative and have a, a graphic design, this attractive design, and um, that all people, um, technic, uh, people from the administration, from the entities that are technic and other people that can um, have access and consult different all the data that we that we are going to to offer it's not working okay that's uh, the way we are working there are so many uh, different governments and administrations related to the observatory this is very difficult for us to uh, <laughs> to have consens consents between all and we have um, created different tables um, and we are talking uh, in the technical level with all of them, all the departments, all these maps that have I, I have chosen and also in the politic um, level and in the, in the management one. Okay, that's our methodology of work, that's also our contents. The, the different products where we are working on and, and different rings of information. The basic one is this one, is the indicator system, is where all the different indicators that we are designing and creating are, um, are, um, um, well, are. and there are different, um, different thematics that's about the housing, the construction, market, um, also about uh, socioeconomic um, data, uh, the different problematics um, around the accessibility to the housing and the policies. These are the, this is the main uh, work of the observatory, but it's also about the available data. So uh, there are many, many information that is not available, we want to, um, to, 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 to want to explore different ways to have extra, uh, to, to um, cap new, new data and also um, to, to, um, to work on it. These are the different laboratories that we are working on. 
the laboratories are the we want to um, not uh, only uh, make um, a, a report that's a photography and image of one moment about one problematic we want to do it um, um, every year you know and this is why they are, we, we the name is laboratory you know and one of them what we've done this year are um, the um, the the ones about the renting, the renting market, and also the prices that are offered in the different operators and different portals that are uh, that people can access. Um, this is the main one. This is uh, the the first product. The pro the first product we're working on. It's an analysis of the different data with these chapters, the label of one, and this is an, ana an analysis about all the information that we have worked on. This is the, the kind of, of, of um, product we are doing now. And also the laboratories. One of them is the rent regulation. We have done a benchmarking in different cities like Paris or, Bar or Berlin and working on the methodology, uh, studying the methodology to, to have a, a, a new indicator, a rank cap indicator and also with a, a doing a study of the context and in, in, in which the, these indicators are created because there are different uh, regulation policies of housing in the, in the cities much more than in Barcelona and the objective is always to have these methodologies to apply the it in Barcelona and that's what the Generalitat de Catalunya have um, done um, in a few this year and in which we are we're, uh, working I am going to work when with um, this is the the one of the others um, laboratories that we have done they are about the offer and demand on on the market uh, rent and also trying to um, to um, to have a conclusion between the difference in, in the demand of people and what it is offered you know I think that this demand and this offer, we have uh, distinct different levels of offer, you know, there are the vacational ones and the, the permanent ones. And we want to also um, try to, to, to analyze the, the relation between this, these two kinds of, of offers and prices. And that's one of the main problematics in the, in the city of Barcelona. But this study, we are trying also to do it in the metropolitan area. The observatory always try to work on the metro metropolitan area and trying to analyze the difficulties that are um, being in Barcelona in relation to the rest of the metropolitan area and the municipalities. This is the, la the, the, the third ring of contents that, that we do and different kind of collaborations that these are studies that are done by other entities in which the observatory is working with one of them is the gentrification you know it's one thing that that one study that is is being done in the uh, city of barcelona nowadays and in which the observatory brings information data and also uh, does uh, support benchmarking about what what methodologies have been done in other cities and that's the, the last product. All this information, like I said at the beginning, we want to um, do it easily. To um, we want to that people, that all the citizens can access easily to this information. And that's why we've done the, a, visual, a visual display of data that we are working on um, nowadays. And it would be much, much better. But nowadays, it's like this. It's a better version. And you can have information for all the municipalities um, of the regional, uh, uh, the Diputación, I don't know, the, much more than the, than the metropolitan area. You can have access 
to um, 72 indicators. You have 2,000 uh, maps, interactive maps with historical series. You have different dashboards, graphics, dynamics, etc. Also, we want to do uh, for each neighborhood of Barcelona, for each municipality, that they have the access to their own information about the historical data, all, all that is available of every every part of the this, this big <laughs> huge territory. Also, we want we are uh, exploring different interactive maps in which um, we are um, explaining specific thematics of the laboratories so they can be used for usefully for the access to information to the citizens and trying to be very communicative and, and, and okay, trying to be a little bit more um, communicative and other kind of um, using different um, software like three, um, three dimension, Grasshopper, um, and all the, all the new uh, software we are uh, able to, to use. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, you can. Where you show all the where you get the data from? Uh, where you? All the people that give data to the project. Ah yes, the map. Yes, yes. Se m'ha apagat. It's not possible at the moment. I know one of the issues has been accessing the data and I wonder if people from other cities could also tell us a little bit how easy or difficult it is for them to collect the data because I know one of the major problems you're having is just agreeing on all of each single municipality to share data following the same standards and doing it on a regular basis. I don't know if I don't know. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, congratulations on your observatory. I'm from the city of Dublin. Uh, we're working on developing something similar. We have a data visualization tool with the University of Minute, a colleague here from Minute University, uh, with a, a unit there called the All Ireland Research Observatory. I'll leave contact details uh, with my working group colleagues. We use data source from a number of uh, uh, public data sets. Uh, the Census of Ireland is a very important public data set, but we also use data sets that include private companies who are conveying uh, f for properties that are for sale or for rent. Uh, do you have access to private market data as well? Excellent, excellent, yeah. And so my question might be, what uh, controls or systems do you operate to validate and correct for that data and is there a data processing agreement that you could uh, tell us some more about? In this case, um, we have different kind of access to the rent market, you know. There's the public one, but here the public one is very good. It's the Incasol um, database that it's all the, I don't know the name in English, the fianzas. You know, the fiancés is the same, okay, the, fi the deposits, that's all the all people that want to have a, to, a, to do a, contract, a rental contract, do a deposit. So the, we have this information that we are, now it's possible for us to begin to work on it because the, the Generalitat de Catalunya, the regional government have just have uh, entered to the, this, 
this agreement of to create an observatory recently in the main, May of September. So we are now working with that. And until this moment, we were uh, the mayor of um, Barcelona have done an agreement with the different um, uh, portals, immobiliar, immobiliarios, I don't know the name, portales. And we have worked with one of them very, very easily with a convenio, uh, an agreement. And they bring us information because they don't have the opportunity or the, the resources to, to explore and to analyze all the data that they have. So we, have a, we do a return with them and we, 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 we done a different, um, all, the, all, the, all the things that they, ha they have um, answered us to, to explore. So with one of them is very easy and we have a, a now, but uh, with others is only all the information that we ha that they have um, bring to us and a, col a punctual collaboration. But it, it, it would be great that all the private sector could uh, easily work with public um, data analysis because it's very, very interesting really. Other questions? I, I can also re react on your question there. Uh, and I uh, have to agree that it is very difficult to um, obtain data with the same standard um, uh, cooperating with uh, many municipalities. So congratulations with your uh, effort. Uh, I work for the municipality of Amsterdam. Uh, and now we are working together with 32 municipalities in the metropolitan area. Uh, we can use um, uh, data from the Central Bureau of Statistics. That's very convenient. But on the housing market, we also need to uh, to uh, to apply uh, a big survey on the uh, on the population of the uh, of the 32 municipalities, and that gives us insight into livability and also the segmentation of the housing market in relation to the income structure. So that we still need that surveys. Uh, to uh, add to our data, yes. Thank you very much. Any other commentaries, ask, uh, questions? Okay, if you want more information, you can, I can bring you uh, my contact and, or the president of, uh, I, I want to apologize, the, uh, Mrs. Karma Trilla, that's the president of the observatory, the Metropolitan Observatory, that ha is, it is impossible for her to, to be here, but if you want, I can bring also her contact. Thank you.